All right. All right. We'll start over. So I'll put a couple mods in place. This is actually the PC version. I went, and, went and bought that instead and played around with some mods. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it a, a lot more. Um, so what I have done is I put a minus 30% damage um, across the board mod in place as well as an emblem spirit emblem capacity upgrade so not 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 cost values or or damage that i do the damage i receive is minus 30. um bosses are still tough but it just felt a little bit more balanced than than what it was so um yeah without uh, without further ado and, and the continue was me just dinking and dunking around so we're gonna start a new game And, uh, yeah. Here we go. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, <laughs> spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. Damn. <laughs> right through the throat. The dude has an epic ponytail. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a master shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the shinobi code. As your father, my word that is a ginormous hand. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. That dude's a giant. Good God. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Those cutscenes are gorgeous. Some twenty years. After Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Hmm? Shh. 
Shinobi. Open your eyes. For the sake of your master. Oh, that's the letter we find. Okay, so the very the beginning of the game you you find a letter. So I guess that's it. I didn't even put two and two together. Until now. Letter thrown into the well. Yeah, <laughs> somehow I missed that. Wow, sad. Crow's Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moon View Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay vigilant. Stay silent. I read that in the wrong order. Ooh, look at my health. Now I've also got the mod the menu put in place that um, has the uh, PS4 controls. I'm using the PS4 controllers. I was playing it on, on, on console, just getting my ass handed to me. So, um, I think I might as well go and do this. You know, dink with some mods. Stealth. Advance without being seen by crouching in the bushes or under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. You stealth avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. Which is over there off to the distance. If you're if you're about to be seen, warning markers about the enemy head. You have to turn from yellow to red. Red is bad. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. Wow, talking about me. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. Genichiro. So I have the music turned down because it can be really loud. Oops. The moon view tower door. You need to check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but <laughs> nobody fits that hole in the wall. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. All right. Apparently the PS4 control markers were already still in the game. Whoever did the mod decided to um, they just bring them back to the forefront. This dude's got some leaps. Look at that. All you have to do is get in there. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. 
In accordance with the bond of Lord and Retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. Oh yeah! Kusabimaru, a katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom by the Harata family, a cadet branch descended from the Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusabimaru, which I'm probably butchering it, beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must forget mercy. Sorry, my phone going loud. A mantra, the blade itself may manifest. Too bad it's not a, um, a sentient blade, you know, since we're fighting demons and stuff. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Oh, yeah. Gourd, basically this is like an Estes flask or... My lord. Now then, healing are potion. you gravely injured? Afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Alright. Cycle through various quick items. Okay, yes, yeah, so we... Obviously, you have to... Equip it. That homeward idol, you know, man, it's great. You can use it multiple times. So it's unlimited use. Um, so the number on the on this guy is... Number of uses so far. And you use gourd seeds to upgrade it. Great. Pellets. Secret treatment passed down in generations in these lands. Records say it has long been in use in battle since long gone. Blah, blah, blah. It also serves as a battle charm. I never felt any benefit from it, but okay, whatever. Other than... Right. It's everything in here. It is. I imagine you could probably... Yeah, you probably go back down this way. Hmm. Why would you? Now this is the tutorial area. Shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture for attacking an enemy in one way. Achieve this. R1 attack. Death blow. Oh yeah. These dead blows are like Mondo loud. <laughs> and you, you can break their posture in this early area by deflecting. Like this says here. <laughs> Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. And Master Shinobi uses a combination of both to achieve victory. So basically the gist of it is, is we gotta... Not about the damage you do, no, you do get attack power. It's about breaking their posture. Oh, damn, not like that. As you can see, the damage is nowhere near what it used to be. It would be about a half, taking out half my health, but like I said, I've got the, the mods going to take it down by about 30%, which feels about right. Um, if I'm starting to obliterate everybody, then I'll turn it off. Um, so, you can see what I'm running by just typing, um, uh, 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 exclamation point mods. Ooh. Probably gonna die to this first guy. We really don't earn anything here, so fighting these guys is pretty useless. Other than teaching you how to combat. What's the 
combat in this game is just fantastic. If you're if you're a swordplay fan, so we can just run past this fool if we really really wanted to. Counter slash. Counter slash can be formed immediately after deflecting attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. Oh, not like that. <laughs> Probably gonna die to this guy. Like that. Okay, there's one. You know, there's two dots above his head, or above his health. Hey, what's going on, Tater? Some powerful opponents require multiple death balls to be killed. The number of death balls required to kill an enemy shown above the marker. I already know there's some there's some enemies in this game that oh, that have multiple phases. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have this. Damn. Oh, you prick. Okay, this guy's uh, not a tough guy, but jeez. Pellets. Oh, I got more of those. Okay. Wait, what happened to all my pellets? I had. Oh, I wouldn't. I didn't. Ha I only had one. That's right. Okay. Wow. This full ash, basically you throw dirt in her face. You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. <laughs> War will be upon us very soon. Now these guys later on in the game are not that, not that easy, so. Woo! Hello? Now there's no point in going down there, there's just a couple of geckos. Nothing over there yet. We'll find the stuff when we come back later on. Oh, it wants out of the pit, huh? Let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. Well, voice acting for the English side is not too bad. Mm. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. It's all tangled up. This is basically the secret passage. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. <laughs> Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. You got anything else Let to say? Let us press onward. Once we leave this passage, we'll be outside the castle walls. Yep. Okay, so notice I can't run now. We're about to meet our main villain. You can fight him here if you want, but... Pretty much no point, the outcome's the same. Still a cool scene. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. Don't you look your eyes down. I... Darn Tudentator's the main villain. Thank you. Leave this to me. Yeah, buddy. And we ain't gonna... He, he's gotta earn this. Outcome's pretty much inevitable, but... 
Now, if y'all are familiar with Shokushugi, how cool it would have been if they used him as the base model for our ninja. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. You 15 seconds? Oh, he's got it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, you, you punked me. <laughs> oh, he would have beat me no matter what, because this guy's tough. I've watched all the fights with him, and it's... You, you can beat him here, but if you, if you, if you, if you beat him... all the Shinobi has to offer. Then one of his his punk bitches come back and the get you from behind, so be no point. I lasted about forty five seconds yesterday. Yeah, you do. This dude seriously needs a bath. This is where the mod really comes into play. You can also change this skin. Like there's a there, there's a uh, a Vader samurai, which looks pretty damn cool. What is Wrong this? arm for Vader, though. So here's the question of the day: Why did they put fingernails on a mechanical arm? So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate, just yet. Oh, baby. Shinobi prosthetic. An artificial arm for Shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms apparently designed with modification in mind. Giggity. Tater knows what I mean. While, while it bears a number of cuts and stained thick with blood and oil. Ugh, but it stinks. It has been impeccably maintained. Which is it? Impeccably maintained or it bears a number of cuts and stained thick with blood and oil? Sounds kind of dirty. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. What do you call yourself? <laughs> Dot. Your eyes. Robo the Shinobi. Eyes of a wolf who has failed in oh, that'd be kind of cool. Put a Robocop skin so on him. Seems to me. Or Terminator. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true Shinobi. I must. Look at the shrine. It's all bloodied. You do what you will. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. Now, now when I was uh, kind of going through all this again and again and again yesterday while I was uh, putting the values in place, you know, if you, if you blast through what they're talking about, it will crash the game. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what well, I too fast it is. the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Mm. Useless when it comes Dick. to loving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. 
It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? That dude has some seriously hairy legs. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I've said too much. No, you haven't said more. Come on, bro. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. Dum, dum, dum. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. Mm. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. First things first. I can't run yet. Let's go get this guy. Light coin purse. Now, I do like the fact that certain vendors you can actually bank up your money at into coin purses. So I, I really like they did that. Perfect. Now I can run. What's up, my homo? Mm. Never seen you before. Your name? <laughs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Hmm. Sir, please heed oh my, my humble request. Face me in battle. <laughs> oh god, I didn't pay attention. Okay now, come on. There we go. I'm not even blocking him. Jeez. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the hot tip about I need to heal. <laughs> oh. The way he gets up, it's just Damn. so creepy and cool. He's like a little training oh. dummy. That swordsmanship, it was a thing to behold. If you have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. I wouldn't call that thorough. Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever <laughs> your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well, well of course. Well. Right then. Let's go. They say swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Mm. In that case, I stand as your ripple. All right. So this basically is to teach us the death blows and such. Face me again. Of course, you don't do near that amount of of damage or posture break as quickly done. an actual opponent. In that case, okay, we're in break, deflect, perfect deflects. Oh. Again. Again. He's got this weird delay. Oh. 
Which is what I had to do with that stupid bull. Excellent. I expect you to be Hey, Private. Oh! What, what is that? Provnik? Ka... Kamakiri? Cool, man. In that case... Alright, bead. Oh. I noticed he didn't do any damage to me here. Come on now. He's just trying to teach he's just, just teach you to do the step dodge. Ooh! That's right, you're, um, check, right, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, man, that, that reach. Yeah, the hitboxes of this game are, are a bit... To say they're... A bit rough. Probably an understatement. Excellent. I expected no less of you. Yeah. Get some. About our training. I think come at me with the intent. No better way to prepare. Mm. What's wrong? Why do you go to such lengths? Half to pass the time. And the other half, I want to loosen that furrowed brow. All right. <clears throat> Enough talk. Let... Now. Let's begin. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> oh. Got me. Oh, it's a good way to come in and practice like, oh, damn it. If you got new skills or something. But again, he didn't do a lot of damage. He didn't. You see, they, they just, a lot of the enemies do exactly that. They just power through. Which I don't like, but whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, those iframes. Yes. Splendidly done. <laughs> okay, that's the offering box. I can... Basically, pay to is there any any items that I miss along the way. Oh, you may yeah, use me. No. Have you noticed in this temple a try certainly? F and I suppose interesting thing. Yep, talking about the box. Come back whenever you All right, like. Let's get to Grab it. Technique. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk too much. Okay. Sculptor's idols basically are bonfires. Where we can increase our attack power and vitality and uh, increase our gourds. Sips. And for aesthetic, got a grapple hook. So the initial minus 30%, it is not NG. Plus. This is just straight up NG, or straight up new game. I've not beaten the game yet. I was playing it on PS4 and got my ass handed to me. So I decided to come to PC and you know and this is just my personal opinion it's not saying anything but against the game or, or from soft I just feel that they're sometimes over tooled with the damage percentages so this is if let me, let me show you so if you so when we go to a menu I can click off screen I do like the fact that I can pause this so if you do exclamation point mods you can see what I'm running with. 
So right now it's minus 30% reduction from the enemies. I don't do any more damage. I just receive 30% less. And it, the emblems, spirit emblems, which is the cross thingy in the lower right above the, the circle. Um, where's my mouse? Right here. That's the spirit emblems. Just my capacity goes up as I upgrade my, um, my shinobi stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't reduce the cost or anything like that. I still have to beat the bosses. They just do a little bit, a little bit smidge less, which is, I think, basically right at what it was. Now, the mod that I found to do that didn't work, but it kept up. But what it did do is it, it basically quadrupled your experience points. And I was wonder, I was building up like 12 skill points, like before I even left the area, which it was ridiculous. So I turned that crap off. So, um, yeah.